If you work with Patreon and want to scrape the posts from any creator's profile, I'm going to show you how to legally do this without violating the Patreon Terms of Service using our HAR file Patreon API scraper. To get started, head to any Patreon creator's page. You do not need to be logged in for this to work. I found this one here, Cold Ones, making a million dollars a year creating drunk content. I think I picked the wrong career in software. Now just scroll down to the post and you can apply any of these filters. I'm not because this guy only has about 200 or so posts so we can easily scrape all of them. To get started, right click somewhere on the page and hit inspect. This will open up developer tools and begin recording your web traffic. Now I'm recording this tracking data that Patreon's sending to my browser. Now that we're recording, refresh the page to force it to reload the posts into our browser. And if you type in posts under the network tab filter, you can get a preview of the raw data Patreon sending to your browser here. And we can see the title of the post here, chocolate milk tier list, matches this JSON key here called title in the payload. We can also see this teaser text matches a preview text up here. We get some other fields like when the post was published, a URL to the thumbnail, as well as engagement stats like the like count, comment count, and number of commenters, which isn't even shown on the UI. So here we can show it loaded 20 of these posts. Now to get the next set, we simply scroll down to the bottom and click this show more posts button, and it will tell the API to load more Patreon posts into our browser, which we can then scrape. So here's the next API call. I can see the data here, and this is all being recorded. Now to get all of the posts, we just keep going and clicking that see more posts. We scroll through all of them. I know this is a little bit ridiculous, but we're not using automation. Therefore, we can't be violating the terms of service. So this is really the only legal way to do it. When you stop seeing that button, you'll know you're at the end. So this is their very first post, January 12, 2019. So you can see it takes like five years to actually build up something online. It doesn't happen overnight. And in the preview of the last API call, I can see that data here. So I can see the post and it only returns seven instead of 20 in the set. So I know I've reached the end as the API didn't cut me off. Now to get all this data out of our browser, we can use HAR files. So under the network tab, click this down arrow called export HAR and save. That will export a HAR file containing all this raw JSON data we're going to scrape. To get the data out of the HAR file, check the link in the description to my no code Patreon API scraper featuring the HAR file web scraper. There's also a blog post here if you prefer written content instead of this video. Now we simply drag and drop that HAR file from wherever we saved it into the HAR file web scraper and it will auto-magically group together all of those API requests that had the data of the posts from the creators we browsed on Patreon. So I can see the raw requests here we saw in the web browser and you can download that JSON blob absolutely free without signing up by clicking on these blue links. But if you just want the CSV file, click this parse group button here and you can create a freemium account and download up to 10 rows of data for free every day. So here I got 228 rows, which matches the 228 here. And if I click download CSV, I can download that CSV file up to 10 rows a day for free. Here's what it looks like in Excel, or you can put this in Google Sheets or whatever analysis program your heart desires. So here are the columns we get back. The idea of the post should be pretty self-explanatory. All of them are type posts in this example, but this may differ based on the creator. Here's the title of the post, and we can see some engagement stats like the number of comments. And I like this one, the number of unique commenters. We also get the like count here and a link to that main thumbnail image we saw on the website. Here's a link in my browser, which is that image we saw here in the thumbnail. This column here is pretty useful. It's the type of the post. So here, these are mostly videos, but I can see that there are some podcasts too, about 16%, and then about 4% are text only. And there are a few other random ones, maybe some earlier ones or of a different format. But I can see here, there's an audio file, probably a podcast, another audio file. We can see when the post was published under the published at timestamp. We can also see the time of day it was published. Here's the teaser text. And this is pretty useful. This is the URL to the standalone post. So we can go to it in our browser and check it out. This image URL is kind of weird. When I click on it, it shows me this random photo and I don't see that at all in the public UI. So maybe they don't want us looking at that. This is the duration of the video. So you can see here, they're mostly 1500 seconds. And this here is a URL to a preview of the content. It looks like it's an HLS stream. I'm not gonna mess with that because of copyright, but be very careful with these as they probably don't want you poking around too much. So that's it. If you scroll down, there's some other collections here, like this collection here parsed out the image URL. So there's a lot of these random images. And for some reason, there's an audio file on this one. I tried opening up, but realized it's an MP3 file. So you never know what you're gonna find if you poke around in this data. 
Just be careful, please do not republish these or do anything that could violate copyright, that's a very big deal. But if you're just doing content research, it's probably fine. So that's mostly it. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else on Patreon you'd like me to show you how to scrape. And check out this next video here on finding popular YouTube influencers to push your product.